doing quite a bit of online private training lately and I've been drawing a lot of ruffles and a lot of bows. Now I've showed you methods in the past for how to create ruffles in these videos, but today I wanna to focus on my method for drawing bows or ties I should say. So this method will work with any kind of trim or anything that you can tie into a bow. So like uh, draw cords, self fabric, belts, um, straps, which is what I'm gonna draw today, anything like that, you'll be able to use this technique to draw that tie in Illustrator. First, make the basic shape of the bow. For this example, I'm going to be making ties for straps on a dress. I'll make the lines that represent the front and back of each loop, plus lines for the ends of the ties. Then, increase the stroke weight until the lines match the thickness you need. I want to be able to add color to the inside of my ties and have it outlined in black like the rest of the sketch. So the next thing I'm going to do is outline the stroke. Go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. This function changes your selected paths into objects so that now you can add a white fill and black stroke. Now, I'll edit and rearrange the shapes where necessary to refine the bow. The last thing I need to add is the knot. And I usually make an irregular looking square for the knot. And then shape the bow again to make it appear like it's being squeezed by the knot. I'll even add in some width profiles to give the look of drape on the loops, tie ends, and even the knot itself. The last thing I'm going to do is to group the bow. Now you may or may not decide that you want to save this tie in your CC libraries. I know for me, I have a tie draw cord that I drew eons ago, but I saved it in my CC libraries because I didn't want to have to keep drawing it over and over and over again. And for someone who designs in a particular category, that's really helpful. My background is in activewear and I have designed a ton of tied waist pants. So to have that tied draw cord in my libraries is great. And it's one less thing that I have to draw. But if not, if you don't wanna save it, this is a great method to have in your back pocket. So the next time you need a bow or a tie, you can quickly draw it in Illustrator. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share it if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.